Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it is I'm the one and only Maxi here, and I'm back for some more of yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Donkey Kong 94 for the Game Boy. So last time we have basically just went through the forest, and today for this episode is the fact that we're going to be hit onto the ship, in this case World 3. And as you can see on the forms of this particular world map, uh, much like the forms of Big City, this level contains about 8 levels, so hopefully this world might actually go pretty quickly. So either way though, with that being said, let's get this thing to it in the forms of the ship. So either way though, and looks like in this first level right here is the fact that we need to do some sort of a bit of a puzzle solving here and there. And that is the forms of how the fact that you know with these enemies right there, you can able to actually have a ride on. Well, the one on the bottom though, that's why you have to able to deal with this thing right here. So that way you can able to create a bridge for him. And this way they'll allow you to able to let this enemy to able to go across the water. And eventually you are able to actually get into the spike. So with that being said, I honestly think this puzzle is not too difficult in my opinion though. So either way though, we'll uh, go ahead and keep on uh, get things moving here. So uh, today's day is of course the uh, the Friday the 7th of May today, in this case in 2021. Not much else to talk about, apart from the fact that recently yesterday is the fact that recently Kirby Superstar Ultra Let's Play has been recently finished yesterday, so... And with that being said though, it looks like we've almost done with the forms of most of those uh, Kirby Let's Plays of um, our channel, because either way though, aside from several spin-offs, mainly with the forms of Kirby's Dream Course, that uh, we don't know if we might be able to do that Let's Play at this point in time, and also same applies for uh, uh, the Campfire's Curse, aka K Kirby Power Paintbrush, or uh, Rainbow Paintbrush on the Wii U, but uh, then again, though, we'll have to wait and see what happens there during some time now. So either way, though, and it looks like that I'm actually just managed to able to win briefly, win for this stage ridiculously fast. Because, well, aside I still managed to got myself about uh, 54 extra lives. But um, hopefully I'll get some more as soon as I'm able to come across into... Oh yeah, this is the level I was talking about, with certain levels coming up. Um, as you can tell, that this level introduces into ourselves multiple doors, and one of them is actually real. So you have to able to open up the real door, so that way you would finish the level like so. As you can tell from the actual introductioning of the uh, introductioning cutscene on this level, so... Now as you can tell, this video is going to be significantly shorter, it's probably... Excuse me. Oh no, I accidentally just managed to jump off the enemy and managed to touch the enemy in the process, so... Whoops. Yeah, the uh, the door we need to aim for is the one on the far left, because if you aim on the right, then it will not open, so... Yeah, something's worth noting for, so... But I digress. Uh, as you probably... As you guys can clearly tell on the actual uh, the video link for this part, is the fact that this is going to be by far is the most shortest video in this Let's Play. Uh, this is the only reason being for this, is because this world is really, really short. Like, really, really short. Um, just like the forms of Big City, alongside with the forms of, in my honest opinion, one of my least favorite worlds in the game, which we'll probably get more details about that. Uh, assuming if we're able to actually get into the, uh, the future worlds and beyond, so... Anyway, so let's go ahead and grind for more extra lives, In despite the fact that I did manage to got my one extra life back, which I'm okay with that, because we now move on to stage 3-4. And it looks like we do need to activate that particular switch, so that way it will open up the door, or that little gate right there, so that way we can meet up with Pauline and Donkey Kong. Or to be more specifically, Pauline. So either way though, let's just go ahead and activate that liver here, so that way we can able to let those little crushed blocks get trapped and uh, open up that, uh, or switch that liver to open up the door. And we now need to backtrack with all these moving platforms over there, so... But again, if you're not careful enough, and if you manage to lose a life, then you have to start all over all over for this process again. So, uh, I do apologize for my commentary, it gets a bit iffy at points, but let's face it, it's the fact that- Oh, jeez Louise, that was close. I'm almost gonna get myself screwed over right there, especially noticeable that I'm almost gonna get crushed. But thankfully I didn't, so either way though, regardless of such though, we have just made it. So, yeah, this level's not too difficult though. At least from my experience anyway, so... 
Anyway, so that's it for the first half of the ship world. And now we move on to the other half. I'm telling you, this world is like super short. Like, we can able to actually win pretty easily for this world really, really quickly. Although, what if we get on to world 4 and 5 and 7 and 8, essentially? Uh, it will go by far a lot longer, which, uh... Then again, though, we'll talk more about that when if we get into those worlds, so... Anyway, so let's move on to stage 3-5, and I believe that uh, we do need to able to get a lot of emphasis on the forms of the trapeze bars, so that way we can able to just, well... But also, we have to be very careful, because if you couldn't tell already, ever since in, uh, well, the big city world, is the fact that we have to watch out for those electrical, uh, stuff right there, which, as you saw, that I somehow managed to avoid that from that little monkey bar, or to be more specifically, a trapeze bar. It's kind of hard to say, because I know it has been, uh, quite a while since I actually played this, so either way, though, let's grab the key and take it all the way over to the door over there, and everything will be good to go here. And by the way, you can able to actually just grind for more, uh, uh, time if you manage to able to, like, well, it's kind of hard to explain, because either way, though, that's all I can say by... Okay, so this level right here, stage 3-6, is that we have to use this uh, little uh, platform right here to let these guys can walk through those spikes. And once you've done so already, whilst he goes all the way to the, well, one exception, but at least one of them made it. But uh, basically, you can able to just uh, let them go onto that, or let you go, go after the key. And uh, before we uh, get onto that, we need to carefully go... Hurry up for a bit, or just rush things in this segment, because if you don't make it in the nick of time, then you're probably going to die. And as a result, uh, although you can backtrack for a bit, thanks to the forms of those ladders that you can able to climb down into, I kind of wish I just want to aim for that little even number timer right there, but oh well, no big deal. But at least we can able to play a slot machine uh, bonus game, so that way I can get two extra lives, so pretty cool stuff. And it looks like we're moving on to stage 3-7. Now this uh, level might be a bit confusing at times for most people, but honestly it's not too bad. Because obviously all we have to do is just basically we need to do a some sort of like a puzzle solving, thanks to the forms of those little shield-like enemies that we have to deal with. Now we need to create a platform for... You have to keep on the one on the forms of that particular uh, bit right there that I was trying to aim for, for that enemy that is usually down there. That's only because if we let him shove us all the way from here, then this way it gives us the ability to not only just try to able to pull the actual uh, deliver for that particular switch door, but also grab the key in the process. So, it's not too complicated, and especially noticeable, once you get used to with this, then you should deal with it no problem. So yeah. And of course, I got my extra bonus game, so even then, though, let's see what lives I might get from here. Please be three. Oh, I was hoping for three lives, but oh well, no big deal. But anyways, it's time for stage 3-8. I'm quite surprised that we didn't die too many times in this world, although the only time I did die is the forms of, uh, well, let's just say in stage 3-3 uh, three, three or something like that. This is pretty obvious because I wasn't paying attention or something. Or, in this case, two, uh, well, stage 3-2, or just anything else to be more specifically. So, uh, yeah, I do apologize for that. So, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, deal with this next boss here, which is, of course, once again, we face off against with um, Donkey Kong here. And, uh, basically, uh, we're gonna have to go all the way up to the top of the ship, because it is quite high in order to able to actually deal the damage on Donkey Kong. In fact, this bit reminds me of so much of the forms of the final level, well, to be more specifically in the main uh, portion of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Like, we'll talk more about that whenever we get into the forms of Mario vs. Donkey Kong redo Let's Play at some point during uh, this November in this year specifically. Once the actual... Uh, the process of the forms and everything else in around the world so is feeling much better. So anyway though, once again three hits on him and you'll be good to go. So awesome. Awesome sauce I'm telling ya. But anyway, so let's see what this next cutscene we're able to take us or takes place either. And it looks like Mario's gonna do this nice acrobatic skills by uh, going through rock to rock. 
And it looks like we now ended up on a new world. So, yeah, that might be seems obvious. And we got about 69 extra lives, so I think we actually got plenty of extra lives uh, from now on. And that pretty much takes care of the ship. Again, super short. So, anyways, and now we ended up on the jungle. So, I guess we should probably end things off here. So join me next time for more of Let's Play of Donkey Kong 94. It's the fact that we are moving on to the jungle world. And this world contains 12 levels. So I'll see you guys until on Monday. Later, fellas.